Yo, what's up, JT Vlogs? Kalan Miza, <laughs> the news today we are reacting to is Turkey safe? Chevre. Tukiye safe, Nelim. Tukiye Guvelume. Guvelume. Tamam. So, Adi, get your limb. Abonne on. The pilage where you're in market. Good day, get your limb. That people are believing me. <laughs> in this video i'm going to be doing a breakdown of my experience traveling around turkey for one month in december 2018 i'm here in the uk after my trip and i'm just filming this video as a type of reflection just to address yeah, some of the issues good or concerns that people may have when traveling to Turkey and oh, just talk about my own experience there I and did. whether I would recommend it Let's as go. an appropriate place and a safe place to visit for travelers Watch that, yeah. so I guess to be <laughs> place and a safe place to visit for travelers so I guess to begin with the first thing I will address the biggest concern that people might have would be this issue of terrorism or political instability in the country. That is the reputation the media has given Turkey over the last few years. Back in 2016, there was a yeah. attempted military coup in the country, which was widely publicized and talked about around the whole world. All the media covered it. It was big news at the time, and I think that put a lot of tourists off visiting the country for a year or two. And I'm pretty sure the tourist numbers dipped in Turkey following that. However, this is my video. It's pretty wow. good, right? Well, I'm a it's a little boring. I don't think it's very unsafe at all based on everything I've experienced in the country and I will let you know why. So when I was in Turkey, I found that although there is a media representation across the world or a lot of countries seem to create this narrative, maybe more like European or a westernized narrative, that still there's a possibility of political instability and terrorist attacks and all this. Actually, that seems to be the label that has been given to Turkey. But if you go beneath the surface, you'll find that none of that actually exists. It's quite oh, funny. And I this like happens in quite a lot of countries around the world. And it's happened to more countries than just Turkey in recent years. Of course, there have been occasional attacks and there has been some political instability, but the extent and reality is way overblown to what it actually is. The chances of you being caught up in a once or twice a year terrorist attack in one of the big cities in Turkey is highly unlikely. You think of Istanbul, there's 15 million plus people living in that city. You're not gonna be in the wrong place at the wrong time if terrorism oh. is your biggest concern. During my time there, I found the actual reality of the country to be one of a quiet, peaceful, Istanbul. Nature. Istanbul? Are you sure, bro? Istanbul. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't. You didn't know. Um, Siyalar falan um, satıcılar görmedin mi? Very friendly people. Ne alaka şimdi? Çocuk ne alaka? Devam edelim ya. Yani ben duyduğuma göre Rusyalar var mesela. And from yeah. town to town and city to city, there really wasn't a change in that. People were actually thriving, how I found when I was in some places like Ankara. I found a lot of people, especially oh. young. Ankara. Some places like Ankara. I found a lot of people, especially young people, out couples, groups of friends, going for dinners, going shopping. Really trendy in some places. And I saw this. Yeah, always then trendy all variant. Izmir and Antalya as well as Istanbul of course and I know there's an ongoing economic issue at the moment in Turkey affecting local people a lot of prices have gone up for everyday things if I'm not wrong looking at what I saw the people and their faces and how they were acting there's a lot of camaraderie there and 
there's this kind of feeling that everything's going really well in Turkey. I know there are some economic problems and there are some also her zaman kızıyorlar ama kızgın gibi. Ha? Doğru. Ama neden ama ya? <gülüyor> yani benim gibi. Mesela ben de her Hiç zaman böyle böyleyim yani. Türkler de öyle. <gülüyor> Some people might be aware of it. Most people Turkey are actually living quite a good life and a lot better than some countries I've been to in Eastern Europe. And I found Turkey to be a lot more developed than many European countries, especially countries. The infrastructure is very good. So the oh my god, see the driving town has an autogun. I maybe Czech Republic. It might even be more developed by Czech Republic, Romania, Bulgaria. Yeah, it's done. Oh no. Ah wow. No. Like the Chuk Gizel yeah, bro that oil be show yok yani. Buses which are air conditioned. <laughs> Very nice seats. Transportation links are great. There's rail links across some parts of the country as well. Also ferry services and boats you can take. Highways with many lanes. Quite new a lot of them. When you're going to and from places and you stop at services, they're often very well equipped with lots of food options and oh, kebab. Souvenir shops and uh, everything that you need, good quality uh, toilets, etc. You will be impressed uh, when you visit Turkey because that narrative is, is quite strong that it's slightly out of touch with the rest of Europe because maybe it's not part of the EU. It's been made mm. to be a scapegoat because Ooh. of some of these recent events. Ooh. I think that's a little unfair. It's actually a country yes, that's man. steeped in natural beauty as well as man-made wow. historical attractions Burası there is Burası many Fight visit Club. and dive into I was there for a whole month and I ah, only visit ya. Western Turkey there's so much more in Eastern Turkey that I hmm? wanted to see and also the Black Sea region Karadeniz. I barely scraped the surface of the coastal places too I missed a great city as well historical oh, Bursa Trabzon, the Black Sea destination yeah, and also the far East would be a really fascinating culture to see that more conservative side of the country as well. Yeah, Good quality of food across Pide. the country. Many oh, really good restaurants. Waiters dressed up very smartly, even in places that are quite reasonable for money. They're always very willing to help. Even if they can't speak English, you will be very looked after and they will Oof. try their ah, hardest to me. be attentive to your needs. Yeah. I would just finish my food, just take the last bite, some waiter would be there and my plate would be evet. gone already just so fast and um, very aware of all of them. Yeah, yeah. 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 What's going on in the restaurants and also the hospitality of the families I stayed with. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The video I shot in Izmir in Bethel's home. I also stayed with a very different family in Antalya. I found Turkey to be a diverse country in many ways. You will see quite conservative people contrasting with more liberal people. And it doesn't matter which city you're in, Ankara, Konya, Antalya. Oh, Izmir is really beautiful, yeah. I think Izmir is like the most liberal kind of city. Yeah. Yeah, Istanbul. The yeah. identity of the city is all different. No, it's Izmir, bro. It's I swear it's Izmir. Ah, uh -huh. Istanbul must last me. I swear it's Izmir. Because Izmir is like, is where Atatürk actually laid down. Like, you know, that's where Atatürk is from, I guess. I feel like it's Izmir. Just like Lagos. Izmir, yeah. Um, Istanbul. Istanbul. <laughs> Same Istanbul. generosity and friendliness is there and a certain warmth that you find with Turkish people. For the most part, I've mentioned a lot of positive things about Turkey, and that's absolutely true. I've also downplayed a lot of the negatives, which have largely been exaggerated by the media, but there are still a few things you need to be aware of. Particularly Istanbul, I would say it's a huge city, and therefore you're going to get all kinds of people there. You do need to be on your toes more than, I would say, the more relaxed places 
of Turkey. There is a well-known scam in Istiklal Kadesi near Taksim Square. Taksim. Two other travel vloggers around the same time last year, I think November 2018, suffered from the scam. Mountain Trekker and Gabriel Traveller. I'm going to leave both their videos in the link below. Essentially, a guy is going to come up to you asking for a cigarette lighter and he'll start a conversation with you that way. He may not be a Turk. He might be from Dubai or somewhere Syria. in the Middle East. And yeah. they'll usually be very natural and it'll be hard to detect that the guy is trying to scam you because that's what they do, they're good at it. And eventually they'll take you to a bar, they'll talk you into it. That's number one rule of traveling when meeting other people. Don't let someone else's uh, words take priority over your actions. Once you lose control, then you're in a difficult position. They'll take you to a bar, maybe some girls will come to the table, that will be a sign something's wrong already, but uh, they're gonna give you a huge bill at the end and you're gonna be stuck in the bar or the club and there's going to be lots of guys there who all work there you're not going to be able to get out it's going to be hard to contact police even if you do police might not be interested you're in a different country so just don't get yourself into that situation be aware of things like that wow. particularly istanbul though i would say however then turkey is extremely safe in general from what i've experienced and i highly recommend the country definitely add it to your bucket list tourism levels yeah. haven't quite caught up with its previous highs that it oh, did have okay, maybe 10 time. years ago that's why it's a great time to visit now because i'm sure it's going to climb up once again i mean with the amount of attractions natural and man-made that the country has it's only a matter of time oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's completely restored yeah. and it's already being restored i hope this video helped you i kind of waffled a little bit basically i'm just endorsing the country i hope you enjoyed these series be sure to check out my turkey playlist if you want to help support me in my videos you can donate to my patreon account and if you do so you'll be able to get personalized one-on-one -on -one access with me by then being able to join my private facebook group if you wow. <sighs> well sanger what do you think what do you think yeah i think most of what he said is true apart from the quiet and that <laughs> yeah. took so always smiling yeah her zaman gülmüyorlar. Özür dilerim. Özellikle kızlar. Am yok. Amca var bence. Ya aynen aynen. Ama kızlar kızlar da. Ama it's talking save that's the end of the video guys. Smash subscribe button, tell us what you react to and we'll see you next time guys.